yourselves and how is you how is your take what is your take from this mm, i think first of all all the participants appreciated the cost to share than leaving government to do things and they appreciated that in all sectors government should just give people to cost share because according to them whether medical whether education whether all needs really let's let's not push everything to government let people know that especially now with the agriculture people should know that uh, farming is a commercial activity where they can earn millions of money they all appreciate that but where participants have got a bit of challenge is on two things you know when they make it digital the local farmers will find a challenge they will need the other people to, to help them and you remember the issue of uh, PDM. Some old women who were helped by some people ended up charging them, ended up uh, complicating things. So that's the aspect they are talking about. Then it too, they feel this application is a long procedure. They want where they can just, I need my animals to be vaccinated. And uh, within a day or two, the veterinary officer or extension worker in that sub county is there to help. What do you have to say about the new the policy shift where now government says you should be buying you should cost share? Do you think it's better? Initially it may be a bit difficult, but later it will get used. Because what? An animal is your wealth and you should struggle to maintain it. And if the government comes up to explain the difficulties they have, you should be able to understand the situation and help in a helpful, positive Because in initially, even the drugs, we buy them ourselves from the drug shops. There is no place where I can access drugs that is stabilized the price. So in my view, it is okay because if the government is having difficulty in procuring those vaccines, then it is imperative that we come in and see. Maybe, maybe this. Otherwise, they, they really appreciate that we have even delayed because they have been struggling with the treatment of the animals and the, the, the extension workers are not really uh, supported financially. Sometimes you call the extension worker, he tells you he doesn't have well, he doesn't have uh, facilitation. So when government now opens up that they can, government can do this, but as a person you also do this for yourself, uh, so that together we can be able to, to to make agriculture really a commercial activity. Honorable, I need to consult again. I think he said it ten dollars. He said three dollars per dose, and they need two doses. Yeah. Oh, oh. True, there are so many fake drugs in the market, not just for animals, but also for human beings. We just need as government to tighten, and we try to tighten. But you know, you can never be a watchman 24-7. You find the, our borders, our, our district uh, leaders who should be controlling looking for drug shop for, 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 for you know maybe the borders it is quite challenging but even with that I, I, I want to sound a warning because this this particular one now when the government goes to you know to work with a, a farmer they want to see that they satisfy the farmer and now this one will make us more closer to the farmer and if we find that there are people who are dealing in fake, you know, drugs and vaccines for animals, 
then we, we, we definitely they will be arrested. Not only for animals, but also for, for human beings. Because human beings now, in all our markets, you find a noise with the loudspeakers, where people are advertising openly medicines without certificates. So we need to control drugs for both animals and humans. Because if we don't control, you know like when you vaccinate animal in the morning, in the afternoon the animal has died, human beings end up eating this animal and it affects the humans. No, uh, I've been like on that day. The, what they do, they come and establish an immunization venue and all farmers are expected to take animals there. However, if you wish them to come to your farm, we facilitate the immunization team when they come to your farm. In our case, you give them some money for fear and they come and do it on the farm. And because if you have animals like a mine, I keep them in the paddocks. Eh? Driving them outside the paddock is a big problem. Mm. Take them to that theater. So it is more convenient for the team to come and do it on the farm. Mm. And you can use the paddock, the, the what? The brushes used for for spraying eh? for, for them to enter there and the, the, it is convenient for them to be vaccinated. We are we are actually making medicine, I mean now uh, vaccines ourselves again it sticks and in narrow is already almost about to launch and his excellency will launch this soon we are going to make ticks history in uganda and we are doing we are very we have the best scientists who are already doing this and we, i can assure you we are going soon to to make ticks history as long as we cooperate with the farmers honorable this issue meant we've always done that we have always done that, not just only to sue the company, but also we discontinue you, and also we don't allow you again to appear in any. Uh, we don't allow you again to 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 appear in any any kind of uh, procurement of any. Whether you again tomorrow change to go to another place like another department or another agency, we don't allow. Because we shall identify you, this is a person who gave the fake drugs, now he has run to maybe education, we shall not allow. And we have tried many times to make sure that we follow up with the people who give government fake you know, supplies and uh, vaccines. Well, it has become abra abra a bit abrupt. But maybe with a bit of sensitization to work. Because since it's a new approach, eh? people, we need to explain to the people that they are able. The people who are saying that actually government should adopt this approach in other sectors, even health and education, what's your take on it? Me, I'm a health worker by profession, but the, 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 the burden of vaccination is taken all 100% by government. sometimes don't do things is what you say on individual basis for example if you buy medicine from a certain drug whether health or animal and it causes your animal a problem you have all the rights and we have all that law you have a right to sue a particular one but sometimes you sue and you get frustrated with the, all the channels and that is why some people get discouraged but the law is there. Ugandan law is very strong on anyone giving anything fake. If animals die or if a human being dies after buying medicine from your drug, drug shop then or your hospital. You have seen when somebody dies in some clinic, a private clinic, they sue and we have seen people pay heavily on this. We have done a lot. We have done a lot where government has come from. First of all, you know why His Excellency deployed fisheries protection unit in the lake. It's because everyone went to the lake and saying this is our resource, free resource, we have a right to pick. And everyone was rushing to pick fish from the lake because it is their right. So because of the fights, then the insecurity came to the lake, uh, you know, 
Some people came and started beating. Some thugs came and started beating the fishermen, taking their fish, taking their engines and nets and all this. So His Excellency said, you know, this must stop. When they deployed the fisheries protection unit in the lake, it was like fighting, you know, illegalities and crimes that were happening in the lake, uh, including illegal on, uh, guns that were in the lake. There was too much insecurity in the lake. But from the time it was deployed, insecurity went down. And then, of course, when you, at the beginning things were hot, new change always gives a hard time. But with the many complaints, His Excellency has been doing a lot of changes in the fisheries protection unit. Currently, we don't hear the beatings again. We don't hear too much harassments and all this. It's not an easy thing. They are very thin on the ground because, you know, they are not many. So sometimes the, the legal officials are many. And because of that, it brings sometimes a fight and all this. But how... You know, there is a difference there because human beings are different from animals. Animals is your individual world. Eh? As, as, as the... As uh, the, the president says, you know, there is development and there is wealth. Yeah? But when you come to things like animals, gods, and so on, that's a pers personal wealth. So you should be able to, you as an individual, to see that they survive for your own benefit. Because if you, for example, may have animals, if you build up 15 liters per day, yeah? if you lose one, it means you are, you are losing 15 liters per day. Who loses? Mature fish leaves the lake because there are few soldiers. You try to go this corner, another one is in that corner. So sometimes why they go to the markets, to the roads, because it's easier to put a roadblock than putting a roadblock in a hollow lake. So that's why they have. But at least it's not as bad as it started. They, there are still some few challenges, but they will be sorted out. Also, the difference between the fisheries with the other departments. Why a lot of noise is there is because this is God-given resource. Now they think they just want to enter. But His Excellency has made it clear that the lakes, the forests, the minerals, and the wetlands are all God-given, and it is government in each other. Therefore, before you go to the lake, before you go mining, before you go to the wetland, and before you go to the forest, you must have a license. Because we all share. It's not for an individual. If God has given us the resource, why do you want to own it alone? It should be shared by other people. So you have to license yourself to get the, the fish, to use the swamp, to use the mineral or the forest. Got information here in Mbale, yes. Minister of Water and Environment has got equipment. Yes. So when you want to dig a fish pond, mm. you go to the office. I think, he, of course, there is some, you know, I'm sure, yeah. you only put it forward, then you, which is good.